Hi, my name is Bill Schaefer, and this is another true story about how I used to tame bees. This happened very early in life when I was young, about four years old, the summer before I started kindergarten. At some point, maybe for Christmas or at the beginning of the summer, my mother had bought me a chemistry set. She always wanted me to be a scientist or an engineer. And even at four years old, she was starting to prepare me with encyclopedia set and chemistry set. Uh, I'm sorry I disappointed her because I never had any real interest in engineering or the sciences other than intellectual curiosity. Nevertheless, we were living in Wheaton, Illinois, which was an idyllic community outside of Chicago. It was a beautiful summer, and I had two friends that, that summer, Jeff Zarnt and Jill Van Landet, and we would play together. And at some point in the summer, uh, we would play Mad Scientist with my chemistry set. And I knew I was four years old. So I knew nothing about chemistry. I couldn't even really follow the instructions. I don't even know why I had a chemistry set. But I knew enough that I could mix vinegar and baking soda and get a reaction. And I could follow the instructions to change water into wine, something where you had this solution that would turn pink and then it would turn white and clear again. Uh, it's all very dim because uh, I know I had the chemistry set, but I didn't read, so I couldn't have read the instructions. But I did follow through some simple examples. Maybe they had a picture book or something. But somewhere along the way through the summer, I got this idea that we could tame bees. And I mixed together a concoction that I just made up, but I remember it was had vinegar and baking soda and several other things, and I mixed it together. And it was always the same, although I'd forgotten what the recipe was. And I would take this solution and we would catch a bee and then we would spread it on the back of the bee right between its wings. And then we would release the bee and it would walk all over our arms. And we did that all summer and we never got stung. And at the time, it made perfect sense to me that I was able to tame bees. And we would catch bees in the backyard in a glass jar, a mason jar. And we would get a long swab and put this solution on the back. And then my friends and I would let the bees crawl on our arms. And they would crawl along and they were perfectly tame. And we were convinced that they were perfectly tame. And we never got stung. And we did this for the entire summer. Now, And we even actually took, at one point, and put bees in a jar and put them in a freezer and left them there for a couple hours and then put them out in the sun and watch the bees come back to life. And I have no idea where I got this idea from. It was purely intuitive. That was the only summer I did it. By the next summer, Jill Van Landet's family had moved away and Jeff and I were no longer particularly good friends. School had intervened and damped my creative spirit and I was well on the way to becoming a normal, ordinary, unhappy boy. But that one magical summer before kindergarten, um, we tamed bees, where we would capture a bee, spread this magical solution on its back, and then they would crawl on our arms, and we never got stung the whole summer. And that's a true story about how I used to tame bees. Thank you, and leave your comments below.